Hello fellow hunters, today I'll be showing you the Kuvle Tarot Siege quest. First of all, if you don't have any friends, just like me, and you always end up in an empty gathering hub, I suggest you search for an online session and add in in your filter search, player type any, quest preference, Kuvle Tarot, hunter rank preference, no preference, and language, any language. This will help you find a session where hunters are also doing the Kuvle Tarot Siege event. If you look at the top right of the screen, you can see the Pursuit level and Reward level. Pursuit level makes the quest much easier in terms of time and breakability of the parts of the monster. You can increase the Pursuit level and Reward levels by breaking parts of the monster. It is possible to beat Kovei Tarot with a Pursuit level of 1. In this video, I joined with Randos in a Pursuit level 3 quest event. At the start of the quest, Kolvei Tarot's weak points will be covered in gold plating armor. When she is covered with gold plating, she is weak against thunder, and when the armor is broken, she is now weak to ice. Don't forget to bring your cold drinks for this quest. Once you have landed, pick up the stones for your slinger. There are four areas in this quest. In the first area, Kolvei Tarot will be moving at a slow pace and your main objective in this area is to deal damage. Remember, she is covered with armor, so take advantage of those cannons and falling boulders. The falling boulders can be located above the axis. The axis also represents rubble. This rubble will halt her advancement for a few seconds so you can take advantage of those falling boulders. If you forgot to get the stones once you landed, you can kick a gold helm crab to get a dragon pot. For the first phase, my focus was really on the falling boulders and doing damage on her unarmored areas. Remember, her weak points are her head, chest, and forelimbs. When she reaches a certain point, she will go underground and reappear randomly in the first area. When she reaches a damage threshold, she will now start to glow red. Now, her armor can now be easily broken. Also, when she is now glowing red in the first area, she will now rush to the second area. You can still take advantage of the falling boulders if you are fast enough. So take advantage of those wedge beetles. In the second area, your objective is to break her armor. This will give you more materials and better rewards. You should also focus on her horns since it can be broken and carved.
this is one of her attacks you should watch out for. I like to call it the floor is lava. If you got caught, don't do what I did, which was panic rolling. Just sheath your weapon and start superman diving. Or if you're a lance user with guard up, block for your life. And again, if you're able to do a certain amount of damage, she will now move to the next area. If not, the quest will end prematurely. Don't forget, every time you break a part of her armor, materials will be dropped. Before entering area 3, be sure to sharpen your weapon and drink your cool drink. In the third area, your focus is still breaking her armor. If you notice, she is able to get her armor back, and you are able to break them again and get materials, but you will not get investigation points. There are also stalactites which you can use to damage Kublai. Be sure that Kublai is under those stalactites. Once enough damage has been made, all of her armor will break. Also, the quest will end prematurely if not enough damage is made in the allotted time. Now, she will rush to area 4. Don't forget to pick up those materials from her broken armor. Good work, Fibers. Now get out there and show us how it's done. In the fourth area, the first thing you will notice is the pillar in the middle. You can use it to run up and do aerial attacks. Also, watch out for the molten gold falling from the ceiling. Remember, the objective of this quest is not to kill Kovetaro, but to break both of her horns. Also, once her armor is gone, her tail is breakable which I was unable to do in this quest. And when she is down, aim for the head. As a recap, for area 1, Focus on dealing damage on her unarmored weak points. Make use of the falling boulders and cannons. Before moving to the next area, be sure to top off your health and sharpen your weapon. For area 2, watch out for the floor is lava attack and keep focusing on breaking her parts. For area 3, drink your cool drink and make use of those stalactites. For area 4, watch out for those falling molten gold and aim for the head. That's the end of the guide, and if you guys want to see what I got as rewards, I'll leave it in the video. Thanks for watching!